Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what does your person in separation secretly want to say to you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 5th of April, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 7.42 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Their person is separation right now. What do they secretly want to say to Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? I just posted shorts for all 12 individual signs. Check them out if you want to. Got the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Huh, okay, so your person is definitely not happy ever since the separation with the sun here among first. So they secretly may want to say to you that although they look like they're happy with the fool here, although they feel like, although they look like they have liberated your, that themselves from this connection, but deep down they're not happy uh, over the separation. And with the king of cups here and the two of pentacles, also in the energy of they wish that you were happy, you know, because... The King of Cups is your energy, unless roles are being reversed here. They love you for your heart. They know that you're kind. So they secretly want to say to you that, that they know you deserve somebody maybe better, or that you deserve somebody who's going to love you. There's an energy of like, I wish, I, I wish you the best, right? I don't sense like a very malicious energy ever since the separation. So I feel like they secretly want to say to you, I wish you're happy. You know, I wish you find love. Some of you maybe have already found love and they're happy for you, but they're not happy for themselves. They're not happy about the separation, but they're happy for you or that they will be happy for you if you were to meet somebody who's going to love you and care for you better than they do. And then we've got the Queen of Wands here in my first. They secretly want to say to you that if there is a third party, if there's somebody else in the picture, they're not happy with that person. Then it's almost like, you know, both of you are so different. It's almost like comparing apples and oranges. You and the third party, both of you are very different. I don't know. I'm just getting that specific um, message right there. May not apply to each and every one of you, but got the King of Pentacles here. Your person in separation could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. And the star here is in love first. Your person secretly may want to uh, say to you that right now they are focusing on their work. Um, they are taking new risks in their life to try and heal and recover from this separation with the star him of first. They haven't completely healed yet from the separation, but they're trying to. Um, and also two of pentacles in love first. Yeah, they're also making a choice not to deal with other people. But if they're dealing with other people, it's not serious. Yeah, king of swords here in love first. They secretly want to say to you, whoever they could be dealing with right now, they are not serious about it. Because it feels like they may want their freedom with the fool here and focusing on their work or on their career. Secretly want to say to you that they love you for your heart, for your kindness, um, the kindness you have shown them before in the past. They are definitely not happy ever since the separation. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. They secretly want to say to you that they actually feel fortunate that both of your paths crossed. They also could be um, something about some changes here. Secretly may want to say to you that, um, that maybe you have changed or that they are changing or they have changed, right? 
Your person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the King of Swords, your love first. Something about lying. They secretly may want to say to you that they are sorry that they've lied or that if you lied to them, if it's vice versa, then they forgive you. They're, they're trying. It feels more like they're trying to forgive you for what you have said to them or lied to them, unless it's them. Again, it could go vice versa. We're going to pull up more cards. Let's see. Yeah, they constantly reminisce about the good times both of you have shared with each other. They secretly may want to say to you that they miss you, okay? They still do love you. They still do care about you, even if there is non-action here with the hangman. They secretly want to say to you that they, they know and that they understand. They realize, they've realized that you have sacrificed a lot for them, that you have made a lot of sacrifices here in the past. And they understand if you find it really hard to heal this connection or forgive them, again, it could go vice versa. Or if, if it's the other way around, then basically we want to say to you that they are trying to for forgive you for what you've done, okay? Just take what resonates with you. Five of Pentacles is right here. Basically, I want to say to you that, you know, it has been hard. It has been hard without you in your life. Um, or that... Also, can be an indication of them doing not so well financially. And that could be the reason why they're focusing on their finances right now, or their career. We've got the Eight of Swords here in reverse. So you really want to say to you that they often try not to think about you, but they still do, yeah? They still do think about you with the Six of Cups here. Um, they appreciate your kindness, everything you've done for them. They say what I want to say to you that they appreciate that. They appreciate you for being there for them through ups and downs, especially the downs. Okay, with the five pentacles here. Let's see more. Two of swords. Even though both of you are not speaking with each other right now, um, not of wands, they secretly want to say to you that they've often wished that um, that both of you could do something together, could see each other again, could reunite with the Six of Cups here. They still are passionate about you, right? They still desire to want to see you again. Yeah. But the Two of Swords, they're indecisive. So they may, be, they may want to tell you, they may secretly want to say to you that they really want to see you, they really want to talk to you, but they're indecisive because they're not sure if this is such a good idea. Or that maybe you've already moved on from them. Maybe you're done. But either way, it feels like they wish you the best though, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And Ace of Wands here is in love first. They could understand totally if you don't want to speak with them, if you don't want to take actions towards them, or that if you don't want to uh, reunite or don't want to reconcile, they totally understand that. But they still wish and hope with the hangman and the six of cups that maybe both of your, path, both of your paths may cross again. Yeah, both of you are separated, two of cups, nine pentacles, and lovers. Yeah, they could also, they may secretly want to say to you that they're sorry they couldn't give you what you wanted, or that they couldn't make you commit to them. Again, it could go vice versa. See, queen of pentacles and king of pentacles. They want to say to you also that both of you could have been actually good together. Maybe it was the wrong timing with the world of fortune here. Maybe their focus or priorities are somewhere else or were somewhere else. Hence, there was a separation between the two of you. I see what I want to say to you that they've grown up as well. They've become more mature ever since the separation. And it took a really, it, it took the separation for them to realize um, what they've done or To realize that love cannot be forced. That's what I'm seeing here, all right? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Kindly subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. On Chelsea Tarot 2.0, that's my newest channel. I only post individual sign readings. 
Um, and also don't forget to check out the shorts that I've posted today for all 12 signs. Um, all 12 individual signs, all right? Check them out if you want to. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button uh, if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. If you've already pushed on a bell notification button and you don't get notified, because I've been hearing uh, complaints about that, um, click on it again, <laughs> okay? Click on it again. And anyway, take care, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.